Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now, if you've been playing GTA 4 on Linux for some time, chances are you want to mod it. In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn your GTA 4 from looking like this into this. This guide is very modular, so you can follow, you can pick whichever you need or the whole guide. It's up to you. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. First off, we're going to start from downgrading our games. The downgrader I will be using, I will link it in the description below. It has two versions, which are known as 1070 and 1080. I personally prefer 1070 version because it has better shadow quality and also many mods only support up to that version. But in exchange, you can only read VRAMs up to 2 gigabytes. So select them all and then paste it on the main game directory, the GTA 4 directory. All right, so apply to all, over, write into and overwrite, and there you go. Next up is you need to, uh, to add all DLL files that you've copied. I know there are plenty, but they are pretty much required to downgrade the game properly. So what you need to do is run terminal and type in Proton Tricks 12210 Wine CFG. It's gonna open a Wine Config, and the uh, 12210 is this app ID of GTA 4. You can find the app ID on steamdatabase.info. It's the easiest way to find out the app ID of your Steam games. Now, now that the Wine Configuration has been opened, you select Libraries tab and then add all DLL files inside the downgrader folder. Let's see, uh, sorry. <laughs> Start from, uh, I'm gonna drag it right over there so I can easily see. Let's start, and also if you need to, just highlight all the DLL files. So it makes it easier to identify. Let's start from Bing W32 and then DFA Game UX Install Helper GTA 4 GDF uh, Life Token Helper and then Paul. I actually don't know who Paul is, but whatever, just add it and then play script hook and then X Live. In the new override for library, you don't need to add the DLL name and also make sure that everything is tagged as native built in. Click apply and okay. Now let's see if our hard work pays off. Whoop de doo. So here we are. So in game, if you want to know whether your game has been properly downgraded or not, look at the shadows. The objects don't really cast shadow as you can see closely. However, in the Steam or the Rockstar Game Launcher version, uh, look at the roll right there, it casts shadow. And also the palette back there also does sh cast shadow. GTA 4 by default uses only 2 GB of RAMs. Besides, it's only a 32-bit program, so it only uses up to 4 gigabytes of RAM. So in the stream.ini file, type replace the 248 everything with 4096. Well, you can type in bigger than that, but it will only utilize up to 4 gigabytes anyway. Next up is OpenIV. OpenIV is like a virtual file explorer for GTA 4 game files, which you can get from OpenIV main website. So after downloading it, use Play on Linux to install OpenIV. Click install a program, install a non-listed program, and then click next, install a program in a new virtual hard drive, and then type in a new wine prefix, let's call it OpenIV, without spaces. Don't check anything, and then select 64 bits, and please wait. Everything is a waiting game nowadays anyway, so yeah. 
You just have to wait. You can grab a coffee, make a coffee, or just, you know, take a short nap, a five second short nap. All right, and then select Browse for the installer where your OpenIV setup is located, and then select it, and then click Next. Choose your language. And then blah 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 Eula accept yes yes you can create this stuff icon or not it's up to you and then next and then yes wait until it finishes downloading which in my case took quite a while your mileage may differ but yeah it's taking quite a while isn't it Go, go grab a lunch or something. Or jack off, I don't know. <laughs> or play better games like Fallout New Vegas. It's a better game anyway. Well, they're not comparable, but yeah, you get the point. Play Fallout New Vegas, all right? All right, it's installing, which shouldn't take long. And then it's been completed successfully and then close another waiting and uh, select openiv.exe for the shortcut name it name it openiv and then you wait again and then you don't need to make another shortcut next and there you go we have openiv click run to run it select grand theft auto 4 and then select the game files where your GTA 4 is installed. Let's see, here you are, and open. If it's been detected, then continue. Continue and starting, and there you go. If there's a pop up like this, it's the OpenIV's built in pop up notification. You can just click OK and use it as usual. Now we're going to remove the infamous piss filter of the late notice. We're going to use uh, Cry EMB, but you can pretty much use any other EMB you prefer. You copy all the files and then paste them, apply to all, write into, and then apply to all and overwrite. And after that, uh, we're going to need to add new DLL files like before using the wine configuration so uh, what you want to do is open terminal and then type in proton tricks one two two ten wine cfg and then wait again that's a lot of waiting isn't it hold on let me sp speed up the process all right now that we're here we click on libraries again and then you overwrite for a library we type in D3D9, as in the direct 3D of DNB, and then DAX, and then D sound. Add, and then make sure everything is in native built in, and click apply. And you're good to go. Now let's see if our hard work pays off again. If you see uh, ENB series plus screen like over there and uh, some log on the top left, that means the ENB is working. As you can also see, the color has become much more saturated and also much more pleasing to look at personally. To improve anti-aliasing that is not present in ENB, you can use SwiftFX. Let's see, you copy uh, all files of SwiftFX and then paste it in the main folder. If there is a prompt like this, you can just overwrite and overwrite, and there you go. Next is open, you guessed it, uh, one configuration again, like before, Rotontrix 1, 2, 2, 10, 1, CFG, and then wait until it shows up again. And then you click libraries and then add sweet effects as the over new override and make sure it's in native built in. Click apply and you're pretty much set. That's it. Now, what is GTA 4 on PC without trainers? Uh, the one we'll be using is uh, ZMenu IV by Zolika. First, we're going to need the ultimate ASI loader 
which has the input 8.dll you extract it in the main folder and then you overwrite the input 8 add and click apply and okay next up is extracting the trainer itself in the main folder let's see open z menu the both asi and any configuration and then launch the game to see if it works blah 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 all right now press f7 to show the menu and there you go um let's see we're gonna try to spawn a vehicle all right all car models that's df890 uh, looking good it works yay Woo. Now let's see uh, if we can also change other function like the weather or the time. As you can see, it's working flawlessly. You can change the time. You can also change the weather. But uh, the time is good enough for a check. Let's see if we can change. Oh, <laughs> I'm, I crashed. Okay, uh, this is kind of hard driving while... Uh, you know operating and then you can also change the weather yay pretty epic using open iv on linux and windows uh, are pretty much the same but i might as well show you how it's done on linux so let's open play on linux and then wait until it's loaded and then the mod we'll be installing is a car mod let's see gta4 pc model cd images and then vehicles.img close a pop-up Extract the mod we'll be using. In my case, is Ferrari 575 GTC. You can follow the README if you want to change uh, car attributes, but in this case, I'm just gonna show you uh, how to use it. How to use OpenIV. Right-click, add, and then uh, select where your mod is. Mm, where did I put it? Ah, yeah, right. Okay, Turismo. And then select the files needed to be replaced, and there you go. It's auto safe. Now let's check our hard work yet again. Uh, Whoop, here we are. So let's try to spawn Turismo, but first I'm gonna change the time so you can see uh, clearly. Let's see, uh, Turismo, O P K R S T to Turismo. Ta da! Turismo is now Ferrari 575 GTC, complete with collision, damage model, and everything. Pretty much everything, yeah. So, uh, in conclusion, modding GTA 4 on Linux is pretty much possible, although it does take uh, quite a few steps to get into. And also, I think uh, you can also mod your this game on Steam Deck, but I don't have an access to Steam Deck, so I can't really try it myself. But since Steam Deck's Steam OS uh, is based on Arch Linux, uh, this guide, in theory, should work just fine. The only mod that I could not get to work is everything that uses scripthook.net.dll. That's the only mods I can get to work. But everything else, like texture replacer, car replacer, or anything that uses OpenIV to install, uh, they work pretty much out of the box. And any script mods that uses the input 8.dll, uh, they work. Yeah, they work after setting up. They work perfectly. And also, uh, in OpenIV, I cannot extract the textures I needed. That's also another flaw to this guide. So if you have, if any of you have found a solution to that, uh, please let me know in the comments. Well, I guess that is pretty much it. I hope you enjoy and also I hope this video is easy to follow, easy to understand. I try to make this guide as comprehensive as possible, but all in all, I'm just a human and human is a place of mistake. Well, I guess that's about it. Uh, please like the video, comment, or subscribe if you may, or do anything that the algorithm likes. Uh, maybe recommend it to your friends, to your father, to your brother, your sister, whoever. Because it really helps this channel grow 
over time and maybe I can be motivated to make more tutorial about modding games on Linux. Alright, I guess that is pretty much about it and I'll see you next time.